Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that draw a pentagon with vertices minus 3, 3, minus 3, minus 1, 1, 3, 1, minus 1 and find the length of all its sides. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know some results. And the first result is, if in coordinate plane we have two points, that is the first point A with coordinates x, y, 1, and the second point is B with coordinates x, y, 2, where x coordinate is fixed and y coordinate varies, then The line segment joining these two points will be a vertical line and length of this line segment AB will be equal to absolute value of Y2 minus Y1. And secondly, if in a coordinate plane we have two points, that is the point A with coordinates X1, Y and the point B with coordinates x2, y. Now here, the x coordinate varies and y coordinate is fixed. Then, the line segment joining these two points will be a horizontal line and length of this line segment AB will be equal to absolute value of x2 minus x1. Now these results will work out as a key idea for solving out the given question. Now let us start with the solution of the given question. Now here we have to draw a polygon with these four vertices. For plotting this we will take a coordinate plane in which horizontal axis is the x-axis, vertical axis is the y-axis. Now let us plot these four ordered pairs in this coordinate plane. First of all, let us plot the ordered pair minus 3, 3. Now here the x-coordinate is negative, y-coordinate is positive. So this ordered pair will lie in the second quadrant. So for plotting this ordered pair, we will start from 0. As the x coordinate is negative, that is minus 3, so we will move 3 units to the left of 0 and we will reach at this point. Then the y coordinate is positive, that is 3, so we will move 3 units upwards and we will reach at this point, which represents the ordered pair minus 3, 3. Now we will plot the second order pair in which both x and y coordinates are negative which means this other pair will lie in the third quadrant. Now here this is the point which represents the order pair minus 3, minus 1. Now the third order pair will lie in the first quadrant, as here both x and y coordinates are positive, so this is the point which represents the ordered pair 1, 3. Now the fourth ordered pair will lie in the fourth quadrant, as here the x coordinate is positive and y coordinate is negative. And this is the point which represents the ordered pair 1, minus 1. Now let us label these points as A, B, C and D where A represents the point minus 3, 3 B represents the point minus 3, minus 1 C represents the point 1, minus 1 and D represents the point 1, 3 now let us join all these points consecutively. 
that is A B B C C D and D A. Now on drawing all these points, we are getting a polygon with four sides A B B C C D and D A. So it is a quadrilateral. And now we have to find length of its sides. For this, we will use the results which are given to us in the key idea. First of all, let us find the length of AB. Now for AB, the coordinates of A are minus 3, 3 and coordinates of B are minus 3, minus 1. Now here, the x coordinate is fixed whereas the y coordinate varies and AB is a vertical line. So length of AB will be equal to absolute value of y2 minus y1 which is equal to absolute value of minus 1 minus 3 which is equal to absolute value of minus 4 which is equal to 4 units. Now here CD is again a vertical line and here the X coordinate is fixed and Y coordinate varies. So here length of CD will be equal to absolute value of y2 minus y1 which is equal to absolute value of 3 minus of minus 1 which is equal to absolute value of 3 plus 1 which is equal to absolute value of 4 which is equal to 4 units. Now we have to find the length of BC and length of DA. Now BC is a horizontal line where the X coordinate varies and Y coordinate is fixed. So length of BC will be equal to absolute value of X2 minus X1. So this is equal to absolute value of 1 minus of minus 3 which is equal to absolute value of 1 plus 3 which is equal to absolute value of 4 that is equal to 4 units. Similarly, we can find the length of DA which is equal to absolute value of X2 minus X1. So this is equal to absolute value of minus 3 minus 1 which is equal to absolute value of minus 4 which is equal to 4 units. Now length of AB, CD, BC and DA all are equal to 4 units which means all sides of the given polygon are equal also note one thing that length of AD is same as length of DA. Similarly, length of AB is same as length of BA and so on. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.